Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some technical analysis on three stocks. Amazon, AMC, and Tesla. Before we get into it, just to remind you, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. So this is my first video back, uh, kind of like more of up-to-date video. In about a week, been on vacation, did a little way to recharge and uh, get ready for uh, all the good things hopefully coming to us pretty soon. So we're going to start off with Amazon, guys. Amazon beat earnings. And this is one I've been talking about. I've been kind of slowly just accumulating and accumulating. And I wish I would have accumulated a lot more than I did today because if you look here after hours, this thing went from $120 all the way to a high of $139. And um, man, that's a <laughs> that's a pretty big jump off of um, you know off of their earnings, and that should be a good good sign for us to come. I'm not worried about this stock whatsoever. Uh, I do see this continuing to go up and up and up. Maybe not all at once, but you know, with the, have some occasional pullbacks. But I see this one slowly increasing over time, and uh, and paying some good um, some good returns for us here. So currently. Uh, your support is going to be about 134.44. Your first level of resistance is about 44.68. We'll call it 45 bucks, and then uh, one. I'm sorry, 144, and then uh, 154.93, 167, and then 188 is going to be your tip top at the fib level. So currently, red SMA lines at about 113. We're trading well above that now, and uh, it should also probably move up to about the 120, 125 range. So if you look for a pullback, look for it to bounce off of uh, either anywhere from 125 to 135. And if it does that, then you're in good shape uh, moving forward. Okay, so now let's take a look at AMC. I did enter AMC this week on a swing play. And we did update the uh, Fibonacci retracement levels on it from the 180-day 4-hour. So your new high is going to be 44.43. Okay, your 9.7. And $9.70 is still going to be your overall level of support. A good sign for me is it bounced off of that red SMA line here. Found a little bit of consolidation, and we bounced off of that. We got as high as about 1536, and I entered somewhere, I think, down here, 1450 maybe, or 1440, something like that. And uh, next week, this thing has earnings, guys. So. If it's anything close to what they're expecting, I think this thing goes bananas as well. So I'm holding into next week, to be honest with you. And uh, hopefully I can, we can bust through this resistance level of 1713, but also hold there. Because you see we did bust above it, and then we got rejected and fell right back down. So 1713, 2297, 2707, 3116, uh, 3624, and then 4443. Those are your levels of resistance on amc and uh, like we've talked about a little bit here it's kind of shaping up for a potential cup and hand handle pattern if it can get to about 34 to 35 bucks uh, when it gets to that level or even to about 31 dollars and get a little slight pullback it could be setting up for a nice swing play and if it does get to that point best believe i will make a uh, updated video on that showing you for uh, amc so now let's take a look at Tesla we talked about making a technical analysis video on Tesla once these drawings on the fib level updated so that's what we're going to do here uh, 6 17 50 still your low 12 10 21 is going to be your new high so on this one here guys I kind of messed up because I sold I was up a little bit if those of you who watched the stock pick video I was up already in Tesla and I had my position and I sold on um, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember. And I think it was Monday because of uh, anticipation of the Fed meeting. And I was expecting it to, you know, that, it, that's what it was, Monday. Then on Tuesday, I think it fell down here. And then all of a sudden, Uncle Jerome came out and talked to us. And it wasn't as, you know, bad as what everyone thought, I guess. Or people expected that uh, that basis point hike for the, the market. And it shot up from... You know, 770 all the way to you know 855, 856. So I'll have to wait to re-enter on it. Uh, however, let's just kind of go through the uh, technicals on it. So 61750, your first level of 
Uh, that's your overall support, I'm sorry. And then your first level of resistance is going to be, it looks like 7, 44, 34, then 8, 43, 92, which is actually should be acting as support right now. So really supports about 8, 43. Your first level of resistance now is actually going to be 9, 13, 85, then 9, 83, 79, and then 10, 70, 33, and then 12, 10, 21. So interesting to see how this one's going to react over the next couple of days. Uh, next week's actually their annual shareholder meeting. Their shit announced a stock split. So I'm looking at uh, on at some point on a dip, I'll try to get back into Tesla and ride it up for sure into next week um, prior to the stockholder meeting because, I mean, I don't see any reason why the shareholders wouldn't push through a stock split. And if you remember last time what happened to the share price, it went crazy. I don't know if it'll be as aggressive as it was um, you know, on the first go round, but we'll have to kind of wait and see. I did buy some T triple Q as well today, uh, added to that position. Those of you who know, I've been nibbling at that on the way down and uh, I bought some more today. So ready for a big spike up for that. So anyway, guys, just want to provide you that update on these stocks for AMC, Amazon, and Tesla. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we will catch you in the next one.